Forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. Science fiction becoming science fact there. Uh, an emergency medical hologram, pretty cool. Out at Indian Wells, not terribly breezy, just a little bit of light breezes, but still we're seeing a little bit of sand and dust in the atmosphere. And those winds settling down a bit today, no longer under a wind advisory, but we're likely to see wind advisories return as we head into tomorrow. Skies are clear after that one front slid through, but another one is rapidly approaching. A fast moving area of low pressure will drop down into Southern California, bringing with it more gusty winds and a chance of some showers as well. It's been a windy spring and you know, the next couple of days will hold true to that. This front pretty vigorous, but again, fast moving. So it's going to move in late tomorrow. That will bump up the winds pretty significantly. Right now there are no wind advisories for us, but I think by tomorrow we'll see some wind advisories popping up, certainly in the mountains, but probably here as well. And quite honestly, with winds of 65 miles per hour, which we're seeing at the Whitewater, uh, there should be some concern about those kinds of winds. Everybody else is seeing winds far less gusty than that. And the sustained winds look a great deal better. It's still pretty windy as you work your way up through Desert Hot Springs and Whitewater, but everybody else is seeing those winds starting to calm down a little bit. And here on the Valley floor, winds dropping off below the 20 mile per hour mark, so a little bit better. Also a good bit cooler out there this morning. Lower 60s presently across the entire valley. Uh, so it feels pretty good. 61 to 64. That's the spread right now uh, as you step out the door. Futurecast data shows clouds slipping into Southern California tomorrow in the afternoon with rain developing in the LA basin, light rain. And then in, on Thursday night, it transitions into the mountains and the coastal areas. Heaviest rain will be in San Diego County, but we are also going to watch for some showers in the mountains, maybe even a thunderstorm. Uh, this storm is moving fast. That tends to create a good bit of instability. Might hear the rumble of thunder. Could see some sprinkles West Valley overnight Thursday, and then Friday that will clear out. Uh, we'll still see some partly cloudy skies on Friday and a tiny chance of showers in the mountains, but then we'll dry out Friday afternoon and head for a drier and warmer weekend. Uh, but that will all create wind in our forecast. Significant wind, as a matter of fact, late Thursday into early Friday. Today, slightly calmer with a high of 87, but cooler numbers tomorrow. We're going to be in the mid 80s, maybe even some lower 80s. And on Friday, upper and middle 70s, that cold air dropping into Southern California. So be prepared for some big changes. Your Comfort Air 7-day forecast today, gusty, but not as windy as yesterday. But we've got a first alert weather alert for Thursday and Friday. Uh, starting around noon Thursday and lasting through the early afternoon on Friday for those gusty winds before things start to settle down. And of course, it's a busy travel day. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the freeways with showers overnight Thursday and then Friday, possibly in the morning hours. And then we warm up mid and upper 80s into the 90s for next week. So get ready for some warmer stuff next week. We'll take a quick break. We've got more for you coming up right after this. You're watching News Channel 3, the Desert's News Leader.